Hi everyone, I want to talk to you today about a product from New Nordic. It's called Hair Volume. Um, I saw this in a magazine. I don't know how many of y'all have seen this many times in a magazine like I have. And I thought I would give it a shot. So first of all, I want to show you the way that um, it looks. I don't know, can you see my fingernails there? So you can see just how how it compares. Now, supposedly, um, you take one a day and your hair should be getting fuller. And supposedly, I don't know, um, it says it can even stimulate your hair growth. I, I did read some reviews that they had online. I got this at GNC for $22 and I read the reviews there as well as on Amazon. Now some people, I can't tell you yet, um, they said their hair grew faster after about a month. They noticed that they had gotten like an inch. I'm not sure exactly how how much our hair actually grows a month. It might be, you know, maybe less than an inch. Um, I never actually stopped to measure that. But um, they say that they've noticed that they get about a month, they get some hair growth. Um, their hair has gotten longer. I read one that um, they were balding and they got new hair. Uh, their hair got fuller, that's what I'm hoping for, because I've had baby fine hair all my life. And so I would really like to have some volume. And the only time I seem to get any volume is when my hair is frizzy. Granted, not the kind of frizzy that when um, I do reviews for shampoo, because that is like really wild and way out there. Um, every now and then my hair will get a little frizzy like in the, in the winter. And it's just a little frizzy and I like it because it looks a little fuller. The only thing I don't like is it looks dry. So um, I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you know. Hi everyone, um, I was talking to you about hair volume. Um, this is by New Nordic. And um, as you can see, I have been taking them. Um, for 16 days now and as you can see my hair is still pretty thin and it hasn't I haven't noticed any growth um, granted it's only 16 days in but what I did notice is on the fourth day my hair did get frizzy um, I woke up and um, went to go brush my hair and my hair was it felt right off like it was a little different and I went to go and brush my hair and my hair was frizzy um, and now that I thought that was that was nice it had a little volume it looked nice but it looked dry and that's the bad thing about the frizziness is it looks dry and so for the next three days um, I did the usual thing and if anyone has seen any of my videos, well video, sorry, on um, my frizzy hair, um, since I did do some reviews on different shampoo and conditioner, my hair gets frizzy after a couple of days, usually the first, the first day for sure, maybe like the first three or four days. My hair is really frizzy because it's a new shampoo, I guess. And then it kind of, okay, starts to calm down a bit. Um, but because I was doing, switching all the shampoos, my hair really, it really took a, a toll on my hair. Um, so I had to call my cousin to see, okay, how do I fix this? Because um, she's a beautician. And she had told me, you know, some steps to do to fix that. And as long as I did what she told me to do, my hair was, it looked nice, you know, straight, pretty, not frizzy or anything, didn't look dry, it looked healthy. Um, so I just kept doing it. 
and my hair was never frizzy, even in the winter when it usually gets frizzy. Um, so I was a little surprised when I woke up and my hair was frizzy. And the next day, it was frizzy. And the day after that, it was frizzy. Just when I thought, you know what? Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe these are the pills and this is its way of saying, okay, this, you wanted volume. This is volume, I'm giving you volume. Um, so I thought, okay, I'm just gonna accept it. This is probably it giving me the volume. The bad thing about that is that in the morning, I brush my hair, ready, let's go. And I have that volume from the frizz. And by the time, let's say if I went to church, uh, I go to church in the morning and by the time I come back after breakfast, my hair is already weighed down. It is back to this. It, it doesn't stay that way for very long, just, just for that little bit. Um, but I figured that it might be okay. Maybe it'll just keep extending, you know, from the little bit to maybe a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Um, so by the fourth, I think the fourth or fifth day, I finally said, okay, this is probably it giving me the volume that I was asking for. You know, I want some volume. Uh, it quit giving it to me. So um, it just, now it's, you know, I wake up in the morning, it is not, it doesn't feel any different. It, it doesn't look any different, you know, when I brush it. Um, so I don't know, I'm like, what the hey? Um, it's kind of like when I tried the new shampoo, it was getting, you know, frizzy. And that's, that's kind of what happened when I took this. When I took this, it, it uh, my hair got frizzy. Um, and you probably want to know what's in here which I don't think I told you in the first part of the video. So let me tell you, there is biotin, which a lot of people I have heard, and I did try, you take biotin, and it would say take, take like 5,000, 10,000. One lady at Hobby Lobby, she said she took 10,000 of biotin, and she got it at Walmart for I want to say like 10, $12 and it was 10,000 um, units of it. And he says, by the second day, my hair was thicker. I was like, wow, I, I gotta try that. Okay, that thing has not done anything to me. It did not make my hair grow any faster, or get any thicker or fuller or whatever you want to call it. It didn't look any different. So um, the number one thing on here is the biotin. Um, and it has 3,000. It has, I don't really know how you say that. So in a minute, I'll give you a close up so you can see it, but it says it's as decalcium. And it also has zinc and copper. It has apple extract, millet extract, horsetail extract, and two other things. But um, let me see, and the other things I think is just, stuff to, I guess, hold it together and make it like a capsule, but so, um, I don't know. I'm going to continue taking it and let's see what happens when I finish. Uh, like I said, I haven't noticed that it's gotten any longer, but I've only been taking it for six days. But I have noticed that I got frizzy and then it just, you know, kind of died down, got tame. Uh, so let's see what happens if I take it some more. Um, most of them do not, on the reviews that I have read, did not exactly tell me how long you gotta take this before your hair, you know, gets some type of volume that's not, I didn't see anyone write that they their hair got frizzy. Um, what I did read was someone got hair growth about an inch after a month, which I thought, wow, that's great, you know, an inch a month. Um, that would be really great. <laughs> But um, I, I say I don't know. I haven't really noticed any hair growth. 
Um, another one said something about they were balding and um, they got new hair growth. Or And then another one said that um, either they were their hair was thinning or they were balding as well. And they started getting new hair growth. Um, I believe this is just supposed to give you volume and it does say it supports healthy hair and normal hair growth. So I'm thinking not new hair, but the hair that you already have promoted to continue growing. Um, but I don't know. Hey, if it works for them, more power to them. Um, I also noticed, let me see, where it say? Well, up here, I'll just let you all see that. It mentions here about the hair volume. And you only have to take one a day. It says just take one a day, it's 30 tablets for $22. Okay, it says health for healthy hair, uh, under the, the directions, it says hair volume is a hair tablet that provides extra nourishment for your hair follicles. And that the hair volume is developed by New Nordic's experts in Sweden and contains, you know, it has B12 and that they got from apples as well as herb extracts um, from horsetails and millets, biotin and some other elements that they have in here. Um, and all this is supposed to provide um, your healthy hair to help stimulate your hair. Um, it even mentions about the copper that it, it helps support the hair, normal hair production. And as well as, I don't know yet, but it says um, the hair pigment um, which helps with the hair color, which otherwise would turn gray. So I, I don't know. I don't have very many gray hairs. I do have like two over here and I think one or two on this side. Um, so I really don't have much to compare it to. I think for something like that, you need to have more gray hair than what I have. Um, I am thankful, I thank God for that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think you need more than what I have to tell about that. But it does mention down here about the, the gray hair, you know, the, the pigment of your hair, whatever color you have, um, turning gray. So, Everything that they mention here is pretty much just about the ingredients that they mentioned down here. That is all in here. <laughs> and you just take one a day. Um, I can't tell you how it tastes except, you know, it just tastes bleh. And uh, I just try to drink it down as quickly as possible. Um, I will let you know when I finish this. Um, if I notice anything, if you notice anything, um, I will try not to trim my hair at all so that you can see. Um, I don't know exactly if you can tell from here exactly how long it is. It just comes right just about, about right here to me. So... And I was actually thinking about getting uh, a trim. So let me see. So I don't know if this kind of helps anything at all. Give you some indication. So I will try to, um, I'll try not to get a trim. Remember, and eh, not to do it. And let's see after I finish these. And since my phone has that neat little uh, app where it measures, uh, I'll see if my kids can measure my hair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try from like just this top part right 
you know, like from about right here down so that we can see about how how long it is from now, I, you know, 16 days into it. Because that one lady said in a month she got an inch. So, um, from what I know, your hair grows rather slow. And um, I don't think it grows an inch a month. But I don't know. Everyone is different. I think it also depends on how much milk, how much, you know, calcium or vitamin D you, you do drink or eat. You know, because you can get vitamin D from broccoli. Um, spinach, I believe, has a lot of it, too. Um, so I think it depends on your intake. But just... I can see, you know, what it is now and what it is when I finish this, just to give it a little bit of an indication. So I hadn't thought about that when I first started the whole video, um, when I first started taking the pills. Otherwise, I would have measured it from then. But um, I haven't cut my hair since I started. So uh, give some, some type of indication for someone because for some people, any hair growth is a win. So let's see. Well, I'll keep you posted. Thank you for watching.